guys, how's it going? Hope you're all well. So, in um, the video I just shot before this, it was a, um, and again, I'm never sure in what order I release my vid, so you'll have to just check it out. That is a ooh sex appeal spell, okay? That is more for your, uh, your raw lust, your, your body needs, you know? This love spell is a love manifestation spell. So, it's for anyone, but specifically for the single people out there. Men or women, doesn't matter. Um, gender never plays a part in, in this, okay? So, it's a love manifestation spell. You are single, you find yourself lonely, you want to attract love into your life. This is one of the spells you can use. Again, it's not the only one, it's one of the spells you can use. Before I get into this vid on how to go about doing it, firstly, welcome. Uh, please continue sharing the vids. If you like it, like it. Um, I only ask for you to share the vids because I'm sharing knowledge and information. I'm making the time for these vids. Um, look, I've got plenty of client work out there. I don't have to film as often as I do, but when I get you know, really good results on certain spell work, I, I want to share to you guys. I'm all about sharing the knowledge, sharing wisdom out there that, generally speaking, we weren't shown. So, and I know it'll enhance your life. Just follow, follow the stuff, okay? So for your love manifestation spell, um, you're gonna need a, f a few materials. Get a bowl, I'm gonna show you an example about this size, okay? It doesn't have to be exactly the same, it's just an example. About this size, and then you need a smaller bowl that fits in here in the middle that comes either to the same height or a bit higher. And I'll explain to you why now. In this bowl, you're gonna put fresh water. Um, if you can get water that's constantly flowing, like river water or ocean water, that's even better, as long as it's not from the tap, either bottled water or flowing water, okay? Um, you're gonna to top it up as high as you can, so it's flat down. You can put the other bowl inside here. The other water must not go inside the smaller bowl. That's for something else. So you've got your bowl with your water. And in this water, put as much fresh rose petals as you can and fresh mint. Really submerge it in it until it floats out. The middle bowl, leave that for so long. You're going to need four red candles. Three is going to be on the outside of the bowl. Two points here, one over here. One, two, three red candles. Embalm with eucalyptus oil or olive oil. You can use your imagination on the words, but because it's a love manifestation spell, words that come to my mind that I use is love, companionship, partnership, um, bond, um, friendship, anything in that category you want to scribe on there. Okay, the fourth red candle is going to be same story. You're going to scribe, but you're going to put your name on there. And on the same candle, you're going to also embalm it with olive oil or eucalyptus oil. Get a pic of yourself printed. Put your full name, D.O.B. on there and pin it to that. So this candle is you in the middle of this bowl that is now in the center, surrounded by a shitload of fresh rose petals and mint in the water in this bowl. Three candles on the side. For this one, I would like to add a petition. Again, I never mention entity in this because you don't have to. Um, once, you get, once you get better and better at magic, you don't have to use entities, but they always do enhance your work for you. So there's no harm in working with them on this one. But let's for the sake of this word, leave the entity out. Still do a petition. You're not petitioning a specific entity. You're petitioning the actual universe now. You know, the laws of, of attraction you are petitioning. Put your full name there, DOB, location, the works. Put down very clearly what it is you're looking for. Down to the hair color, the attitude, what you want to see in this person. What you want them to see in you is also very important. That you maybe want them to accept you for who you are, your ways, your likes, your dislikes. Maybe accept you for your line of work or if you have kids or you're divorcee, that they accept of that. Put it all down very clearly that that is your petition. Once your materials and petition is done, guys, you bring it all together. You're in a very calm, awake, aware state when performance. Obviously, everything's quiet. I personally like to chant before doing spells that I do on my own without entity. A simple om. I normally open up my order like this as well for a few minutes before I get into it. Once I'm completely in the zone and my vibration is where I want it to be, I'll close my eyes and I'll bring everything in. I'll picture the candles as they are, the flames, my candle as it is, I'll picture myself, 
outside of the candle and inside of the candle. I'll picture the flames going up, truly representing what I'm calling to my life, love, companionship, friendship, affection, that bond, that, that togetherness. And I'll bring it in again with the hands out. You start bringing in what it is you're desiring. Always keeping focus on the center. You are the center. And you start bringing it all in. That person that you pictured in, that short hair, that long hair, that red hair, that black hair, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is you're picturing in, start that slowly, focusing in on it. Bring it closer and closer to you. You should, by this point, start feeling your hands becoming very heavy and almost magnetized. You get, and you carry on, you carry on bringing it in, willing all those things into your existence. Until your hands are almost touching, not completely. You release slowly and you do that for another four or five times, really willing it in. But each time, you have to picture the materials and your intent and yourself in the center. Now again, give it a shot. I'm sharing the information, but again, this is what I do. So I'm hoping and trusting you guys can see besides me sharing the vids and sharing knowledge that a lot of people just fucking won't share who is aware of it. I also offer the services from your spell to your tarot needs, your love return, your health spells, court case spells, I do it all. So practice it, do it, get involved. But if you need a professional as such to do it for you, I'm always there. I'm always willing to help and I'll always get back to you guys. So all the best. And again, if you do need my help for any services, just hit me up, guys.